Hello, BCSD third graders. It's Mrs. Whitman again, and today I'm going to do the day four math task for you. Here we go. Each ladybug has six legs. Elaine counted eight ladybugs. How many legs is that all together? Okay, this is sounding like a multiplication problem to me because I see words like all together. <laughs> And it says that each ladybug has the same number of legs, six legs. And that oftentimes indicates multiplication. So um, I think the approach that I'm going to take with this problem is repeated addition. Good old repeated addition. Probably the first multiplication strategy that your teacher taught you when you were first learning multiplication. So we're going to do six legs. We're going to write the number six. And it says that Eileen counted eight eight ladybugs so that means I'm gonna write the number six eight times so here we go one two three four five six seven eight Whew, that was a lot of sixes let me just double check I always have my students double check because it, it's easy to lose track of how many times you've written the number one two three four five six seven eight okay cool so now I'm going to start adding those sixes together so here we go six plus six I know is twelve so I've got a bunch of six plus sixes here okay so now I've got to add all of these twelves up Okay, 12 plus 12, I've done that one before. I already know that one's 24. So that's 24 as well. Okay, 24 plus 24, eh, that's a little more difficult to do in my head, especially horizontally. I'm used to adding up vertically. So I'm going to rewrite that down below. Okay, there's my ones. I got four plus four in the ones column. That gives me eight and then two plus two in the tens column. So my final answer for this repeated addition sentence is 48 or 6 times 8 equals 48. All right, so let's move on to the next page. And if you've been following my math task videos, then you know that the person in the background is my daughter. She's figuring out how to talk. In my day two video, I went over how to use decomposing as a multiplication strategy. And um, I know on the day four math page, it says find six times eight by doubling six times four. Really what they're doing is they're just applying decomposing in a different way. So what you can see right here with these hats, this um, hat example right here, what they're doing is just like when we talked about decomposing and chopping up the array, they're just chopping it right in half. So you've got half of the array here and half of the array here. So they're doing the same thing. Um, doubling is uh, just like decomposing because you're still breaking apart the array into two smaller arrays, okay? So don't get confused by the wording. Um, and so um, I'll show you with number two how uh, how you can approach this. So you're going to create two arrays that are exactly the same size. That's how, that's what the doubling strategy is, okay? So I'm gonna um, chop this array right here to make two arrays that are the same size, same number of rows, same number of columns. So I've got one, two, three rows, and one, two, three, four columns. Let me just double check on this other side too. One, two, three rows, one, two, three, four columns. Okay, so now what I can do is rewrite this as two math facts that are exactly the same. I've got three times four, and I know that equals 12 for this array right here, and it's the same thing on the other side. So that's why they're calling it doubling, because essentially what you would do is you would find out the answer for this first part of the array, three times four equals 12, and because they're the same exact size and the same exact answer, all you would do is just 
double 12, okay? Because we're gonna do 12 plus 12 to find the final answer, and that's 24, okay? So that's just a little word of advice for you for um, the day four reteach page, because I know that sometimes the wording and the directions is confusing. So um, if you're interested in learning more about using decomposing as a multiplication strategy, go and check out my day two BCSD packet video for more information. All right, I will see you later with a day five video.